What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to another video here in Los Angeles, California. Behind me is a very stunning and very glamorous baby blue Rolls Royce Ghost that Sam has been given the keys to for the next 24 hours. I feel like I haven't done a Q&A in about six to seven months. Well, in fact, I know I haven't done a Q&A in about six to seven months because I checked my YouTube channel this morning. So Sam is gonna help me by driving me around. I'm gonna take this camera, shove a GoPro up in the windscreen and hopefully answer some questions from Instagram and Twitter whilst trying to hunt down the most very exotic, rare and sought after supercars here in Beverly Hills. So without further ado, the sun is shining. Let's jump in the passenger seat, get driven around LA by Sam from Seen Through Glass in a wonderful Rolls Royce Ghost and just have some fun, see what supercars we can see and answer some of your questions. Right, okay, to kick things off, we are driving around Beverly Hills. So I want to not only try and find some awesome supercars because let's face it, yesterday was a total fail trying to find some supercars. Tesla. This Q&A is going to be a mixture of car spotting because I find the only way to car spot here is to do it subliminally, not try to do it. Just casual, we're just, gonna drive around casual, and do a Q&A yeah. so, and if we see stuff, Cool. We'll film it. The Q&A has stopped because this is, or was, or whatever it is, Chris Brown's old Lamborghini. Florida plate. I need to get that picture. That is definitely Chris Brown's old car. <laughs> it's such a nice color. It's a white nah, it's not. No, it's not Chris Brown driving it, damn it. He pulled over as well, he's like, they're following me. Oh, it's so nice. SB Cargraphy. SB Cargraphy, that's an interesting name. How's LA been treating you since you arrived and the best moment so far? I think we can both answer that because you've been here much longer than me. I'll go first. I mean, first of all, this is the perfect time of year to come. We are experiencing late 20s, early 30 degrees Celsius heat in November whilst everyone in the UK is dying from <laughs> wearing from about four fight, hoodies. Yeah. The best moment so far, we were, at, we were leaving a restaurant and a full carbon wire at Tempesta just turned up. We followed it for a bit, had a chat with the owner whilst he put petrol in. Very cool experience. The chase begins. Very cool experience. Um, best moment for you? Of my whole trip? Yeah. Uh, going, Picking me up from the airport? Thought no. so. <laughs> Flying to Seattle and exploring Seattle in a 24 hour period with a hurricane. Oh yeah, that was. It was, was a mad that trip. Was cool. Mad, mad trip. That people. was cool. Now I've put this question in. It's not, well it is a question at me. Self-submitted? No, 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 no. I, and I don't really know how to pronounce this name. So I'm going to hold the camera there for a little bit, little while. What car do you think Sam should buy as a replacement? What car do you think I should buy? Are we, into that? we actually haven't talked about this. No, we haven't. We because haven't talked uh, about if you, it. If any of you has watched my channel, I know that I'm personally trying to avoid the topic. Yeah. But we obviously have discussed a few bits of my thoughts. But I haven't asked you what you think I should get. Be realistic. <laughs> if you say challenge to die, the This is what we're driving past right now. Yeah, but we've talked about this a million times. I haven't got that the money. That is what I haven't got the money. It's a 175 grand car. I'm just saying it was fate. That, that question has popped up. Uh, unplanned. <laughs> I said be realistic. I think. Do you know what, do you know what would sound good? No, you know I'm all about sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An Aston Martin Vantage with pipes. Intriguing. Because you still kind of get that Jag F type comfort VAS but in something a little bit more exotic VAS if you could stretch to a V12 manual Ooh. I mean Ooh. that <laughs> could be insane <coughs> yeah okay interesting is that <laughs> a Aston Martin like, ownership talk I don't know, I don't know what it was I just did that there's a Aston Martin Ooh, ooh, just on topic I know See, that's just nice. after topic I wouldn't have again that could be fake that could be fake. Yeah. You wouldn't have the roads to those. That's the you? GT, isn't it? Is it? The Vantage GT, which I think is an American oh, it is. spec. It is, thing, it is, yeah. it is. Kenzie Photography, what car that you've driven surprised you the most 
And what's the scariest moment you've ever had whilst driving? Both come from my ANG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Aiden Flynn is, has asked a question that like, I think every single person will go through. So it's, I feel like this is an important question. What kind of things did you look for when buying your first ever car? And do you have any tips for people looking now? Uh, my experience of looking for a first car, obviously as you're getting closer to passing your driving test, you are spending a lot of time on Auto Trader. You're looking at sort of what you could potentially afford. And for me, it was trying to find the coolest looking car that I could afford that looked cool. It wasn't about how it drove, but of course the other factor that you have to factor in is the insurance because every insurance company, even to this day, I still refuse to believe that the 25 is that cutoff period where it's, not, it's so, so expensive. Crazy. So, uh, yeah. Like, and the insurance companies will always try and make as much money as possible. Simple as that. Um, so for me, trying to find the car that looked as cool as it could for 3,000 pounds, but one that didn't have a 1985 3 litre V8 in it because then your, your insurance would be five figures. Wow. That is mad. That is mad, and then there's another ghost there. Dean's Xbox. Sounds like it's come off from Microsoft Live or Xbox. Yeah, Live his, his Xbox has asked the question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of all the adventures that you've been on, which one stands out the most? I think of 2016, it's gotta be the Barbados trip. It was so out of the blue and last minute, but so cool and so totally different to anything that both either of us have ever done. And we got to see Lewis Hamilton drive an old Formula One car that sounded phenomenal, race a super bike. That video I think has got two million views, which I still have no idea how that's happening. I think Lewis shared it personally. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. He still hasn't replied to my DM though. <laughs> <laughs> Before we move into the the main the main event of this video, which could be a car if I if I find a supercar, like and we can chase down a LaFerrari Aperta. Um, I've got one more question from Instagram, which is Lucas Will Willem Me oh, Zero Two. Sorry if I've mispronounced that. I think you have. I think I have. Are you ever coming to Sweden? Now I picked this question because what, uh, Sweden is a place I really want to go, as well as Norway and Finland. Scandinavia. Scandinavia in general. The roads out there look utterly insane and it's actually quite accessible. It's a long drive but it's actually quite accessible. More accessible than um, Russia. I think that's quite accessible say, as well. I was yeah. going to say like driving to Australia. Yeah, North Korea or something. Yeah. Good shout. But this is actually more of a question of like places that I want to visit in 2017. I've got a long list of countries both in Europe, in America, and around the world that I want to start spreading my camera and me. I'm not just gonna start packaging up my camera and send it places and hope that it films itself. Um, I do want to start looking into a more global car scene and start documenting car spotting around the world, car events, motorsport. And so that question of do I wanna to go to Sweden? Yes, I do. I wanna to go to Sweden because I'm pretty sure they do one hell of a world rallycross. And yeah, I don't know whether you point. watched uh, the video of mine that I did World Rally Cross um, very briefly in March, March, and it was insane. It was insane. So, so many cool opportunities and things that I want to do in 2017, um, which involved going to various different places, places that I've never been before. Because I think throwing yourself in the deep end, like the, what you've done over here, just immersing yourself in the atmosphere, the culture and just having some fun, that's quite nice, that's satin black, I'm not gonna get it in time. Satin black Maserati Quattroporte. There are so many places that I wanna go. There are so many places I wanna go. I wanna take myself out of my comfort zone and start putting it around in places that you at least expect to find me and try and film. That's a plan for 2017, that's a goal of 2017. Supercars of London. In India. In India. <laughs> 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 Took me a while to process that. <laughs> The Stradman has arrived with a ski box. That he is adamant in telling people that he is going to wrap it when the material turns up. And now moving on to, I suppose, maybe the section of the video that most people, 
Whoa. <laughs> it, involves us, it involves us having a crash. Yeah. Essentially, a large proportion percentage of questions submitted over the Twitter and Instagram revolve around the current adventure that I'm on in replacing the Audi A1, the Nuke, my daily car, because I've been on this hunt for a while, a lot of questions of what other cars you get a test drive, and when you're looking at changing. The Audi A1, like, it was so last minute, and I think that came across on the YouTube channel as well, because like, I was so excited the fact that I bought this LP560, my dream car, and then I was like, oh, but I need a, a car to actually drive every single day, because it's definitely not dailyable. Is that the right, oh, look at that. Quick, quick, quick. That is lovely. The one that we chased earlier. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah. Um, that's probably a dream car at the moment. I've definitely got an idea in terms of what route that I want to go down, and something that I've cut off is that hatchback, the hatchback vibe. I've done cut it. Cut it off as in you're, like, you're yeah, done. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. You yeah, don't want it. Yeah, I don't. I don't want it. No. After driving the Shelby GT350, and obviously being a passenger in the BMW M3, I think it would be quite cool to go down the more sports saloon coupe form. <laughs> it's a little bit more exciting, I think. Uh, uh, rather than the hatchback, you do get some really cool hot hatches like the A45, the RS3. Um, but I am definitely keen on... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got, I got distracted there. I know you were sorry. That was your video. I got distracted. Back to seriousness. I want to drive some sort of BMW M car, which you probably hate me for <laughs> if I went and replaced You can do it, you're not going to have a good time, so I'm not, I'm not worried. <laughs> um, okay, but like, is there M3, M4, not M2? Because I no, like the M2. The M2 is still too new, and I feel from a purchasing point of view, sure, still has some depreciation to do. Fair point. The next hot topic is one um, that has appeared many times. The Rentec body kit. Mm. Now I've been talking about the Rentec body kit ever since I bought the AMG GTS. For those that don't know, one of the main reasons why I bought that car was because I came across the Instagram video of the Rentec, the fixed carbon wing, the aggressive body kit, revving, and I was like, well, first of all, you can make that car look insane. And second of all, probably more importantly, you can make that car sound insane. So my whole strategy around swapping the Lamborghini for the AMG GTS was kind of like a project car. My strategy was to own that car for 12 months. Within that 12 months, I wanted to do the tune and the upgrade, the exhaust upgrade, first of all, because of my videos without sound, I might as well not upload them. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, great. <laughs> and second of all, it needs to look aggressive. The AMG GTS, a lot of questions again, one thing that you would change about it, it's too soft. So I wanted that sharp edged race body kit to the car. Now I said that it would happen in September. We're now mid-November and there have been mega delays on all of the carbon aero kits. I have made the executive decision that I won't get the body kit. Don't give me that look. Wow. Don't give me that look. Bomb shell. Bomb shell. I don't know when it's coming. Like, I literally <laughs> don't know when it's gonna come. Like yeah, I've literally yeah, been yeah. waiting on call for the last two or three months. I've had three road trips planned yeah. that have been canceled. I've had to shorten this America trip because I had to leave time aside to go back to Germany to get this body kit fitted. And now, I even went down the route of cancelling Dubai, the Abu Dhabi, which we had a fr freaking awesome time last year, and I cancelled it so that I could be free to get this body kit fitted, and they still can't tell me when it's coming. No, of course, you've been waiting for a long time to finalise those modifications. And I've just been on call. It's like, you know when you go on call for, for work and you like sort of have 24 hours when you're just on edge all of the time looking at your phone, waiting, waiting, for, that it, call, waiting yeah. for it to call that you might have to go out. And I've had that for the last three to four months. Um, and it's sort of like all fallen fallen through. And my, my end goal was always to look at replacing the AMG around March, April time, around that top marks exciting moment time. Um, but of course I wanted to have the body kit on f 
But like, I can't just have the body kit on for a month and then sell the entire car. I just think that's totally pointless. So at the moment, I'm really sort of floating around in space with Ooh, no connection to any sad. spaceship. So what now? What now? Tell, well, tell me again. Again, literally, that was the last question. Perfect linkage. I mean, it's like we planned this. Yeah, and we didn't. <laughs> we actually didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. That's the one question at the moment that I can't answer. You can't answer what nah, now? I cannot answer what now. I've had so much time to myself over the last 24 hours to try and work out where I go from here. So maybe this is the perfect end to the Q&A. Well, don't know, because that's quite a depressing end, I think. No, 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 because I was going <laughs> to give, I was going to give options. Okay. So see what I mean by this so unplanned? Yeah, yeah, so Because <laughs> that, like, if, I, if you were going to sign off there, I was like, wow, that's a really no, no, horrible no. way to end the video. I don't know what's coming, guys. <laughs> Option. Okay, bye. These are the different directions things could go. AMG, keep for until the plan of selling it around April time. Sure, so, the, so yeah. I've still, could I still have six months ownership in the AMG GTS? I love that car. I could make some fun videos on it. I do want to talk about what it's like to live with. Direction number two. The middle. Yeah. I could go crazy and put some sort of body kit on the AMG. A different body kit. A different body kit. Okay. Something totally different and keep it for longer than my plan so like a April. refresh so could i refresh. refresh could i facelift the gts now i suppose the flaws on that plan is that the gtr is coming out yeah but that's and then the gtc is coming out yeah i think the gtr isn't as aggressive as it should no. be but then the gtc is coming out which is a pretty cool car but uh, but like yeah. yeah they look all right yeah but will they affect the depreciation on the gts mm, okay that sure. is an unknown question. Sure. But it's still a cool car, a car that you love. Oh yeah. So like you're not gonna go wrong with that and it might putting a body kit might re make you love it even more. You might be like this car's sick. Or it could make it undrivable. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Option number three. Is that a bit more angle? A bit more angle. Option number three is Dig the AMG a grave stone, grave, dig the AMG a grave, finish the GTS, and change it. <gasps> Buy another car. And get rid of it, like, just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I love the AMG, so I am finishing the vlog, finishing the vlog, Q&A, uh, whatever this video is, um, with... They are sort of the three most popular options or the most realistic options that I've, I've been able to come up with because I had to think about it before filming the video. Like, how do I answer the question of what happens now? We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Please comment below. Um, help me out. Jump on board with this dilemma. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Vanquish. Vanquish Valente. Very nice. Um, and yeah. As you might have been able to tell, the last week or so has been quite stressful. And I thought, oh, what's this hurricane? <gasps> yes. Ooh. This is so nice. Yellow, Yellow hurricane. Is that a sign? Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> that was Slats on the back and everything. Was. Oh, was it? Yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh. All right, stop it now, okay. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, please comment below um, because I really need your help. Thank you guys.